Welcome back. We all know it's been a tough year. And then you add in small businesses and entrepreneurs, it's been especially tough. But there is money to be had if you know where to look. Libby Heikend, founder and CEO of Grant Watch, is here with tips on how to take advantage of some grant money. This is so good. Welcome, Libby. Hi, thank you so much for having me. We are so glad you're here. It's important for people to know what are these grants, where are they, how can we find them? This is really good information. Well, GrantWatch is the website that lets you know what grants are available for nonprofits, small businesses, and individuals. And we add new grants every day, so there's just lots of grants. We archive the website as well, so everything on GrantWatch is currently available. Amazing. So tell us, how much money is typically awarded each year in the grant world? And does it have to be paid back like a loan? A grant is a gift and it does not need to be paid back as long as you follow every single detail of what the funding source has asked. As long as you're meeting your expectations, you don't have to pay it back. So what types of grants are available for nonprofit companies and small businesses out there? Well, um, every foundation, every funding source, whether it be government, um, federal, state, city, local, or foundation or corporation, they have a mission and a vision of what they want, how they want to spend their money, what's important to them. And so grants are given by these funding sources based on what they're interested in funding. And there are grants for almost anything. You just have to be able to look, you have to be able to compromise a little bit, um, and spin your needs according to the needs of the community that you're serving. That makes sense. So what I want to know is what are your three tips to ensure that someone's grant application is really taken seriously? Okay. Well, I have five. So oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> even better. The first is eligibility. Don't apply for anything that you're not eligible for. Make sure that you check every single box of what the funding source says they're willing to fund. And if you're, if you're not, and you can bring someone else in, some other nonprofit organization or business depending to um, make your grant more fundable, go ahead. If you can't, don't apply. Second, follow directions. That's the most important of everything. It's everything you do in life, but especially in the grant world. And then I go to PMF, Passion Maps and Folders. Your passion needs to jump off the page. It has to be so viable and alive that the reader can really feel it and feel the need and want to help you. Maps, you need to be able to, on a spreadsheet for yourself, map everything out. What are the needs? What are your goals? What are your objectives? What are the activities? How are you going to evaluate it? What's the budget? And who are the people that are going to run the program? If you can get all that in, then you have a program and folders at your fingertips. You need to have all the needs that are part of your target audience, your community, who you're going to serve, so that you can show that your goals are going to remediate the needs. And that's how you get funded. Thank you so much, Libby. One last quick question for you. Where can we go for more information? Grantwatch.com. And there's many ways to enter and search, and hopefully you'll find what you're looking for. Great information. Thanks so much, Libby. Well, that's it for us here at Lifestyle Today. I want to thank our fabulous co-host, Christine Zell. Oh my goodness. Now, Christine, where can we go? Where can we follow you? Keep up with you? Tell us. Oh, thanks for asking that. So I'm at Instagram, Christine that's Zell TV, which is also on Facebook, Christine Zell TV. Since I have the TV past and planning to somehow in the future continue TV, I thought yeah. that would be an easy way to follow along. Totally. Love it. We will definitely be following you. You'll get spammed with like baby pictures. I'm into well, that. she's not a baby anymore. You know, do you still call Parker a baby? <laughs> I feel like with our family, we yeah. call her the baby. The baby. But they're not babies. No, they're not anymore. So to follow like kids and all mom stuff, yeah. that's kind of what I got going on right now. Love it. Well, we'll definitely be following you. you. And be sure to follow us at Lifestyle Today Show for more tips, also extended interviews, exclusive content. Make sure to follow us. And we want to hear from you guys. So don't be shy. Message us, comment, etc. We'll see you next time. The proceeding was sponsored by Lifestyle Today Show.